So far we've been taking a look at the three different sketch brushes, sketch one, two, and three. And as we've seen, the different sketch brushes can give us different embed values into the surface that we're working with. Another characteristic of the sketch one, two, and three brush is how it follows the surface. So for instance, if I were to move along the body here, first I'll hit shift A to enter sketch, and then take a stroke. You'll notice that it will follow the surface. As I come off to the surface, at some point it will break away which gives me free stroke out into space. And then as I come close to another surface, you'll see it'll jump back onto that surface. We'll get something that looks like this. Even though that might be a bit messy, of course, by holding the shift key, we can simply smooth this out. And this will all blend into the surface very nicely. This is convenient because it allows us to make quick jumps across surfaces. For instance, I could do something like this and then smooth that out. Another brush that I'd like to point out is called the armature brush. Again, we'll jump into the brush palette here dedicated to Z-spheres, and the first brush we'll find is the armature brush. The armature brush will not follow the surface direction. It'll start with the surface direction that you start with, but then you can freely pull this off into space. Again, this will smooth the same way as the other brushes. But this allows us to be a little bit more free form on how we're creating sketches. So simply we can just click and draw and add Z spheres off into space. If we switch back to sketch one, two, or three, we can again see that these Z spheres are following the contours of our surface. and then back to armature to simply pull and sketch these spheres off into space.